Thank you. Excuse me. Is, is she here? My uh, my daughter, Lily. I got a call saying that she was here. Jen? Jennifer! <sighs> Thank God. You have no idea how worried I'm. Who did this to you? I couldn't see his face. He was wearing a mask. Is that... This is your sweatshirt. Is that blood? No, no, no. That's not her blood. I bit his hand when he put it over my mouth. Oh! The main thing is, outside of a few scrapes, she wasn't hurt. <gasps> Poor baby. Luckily, there was a bystander that stepped in and stopped the attack. A bystander? I don't know. He just pulled the guy off me and started beating him up. And then what? I ran. And then when I looked back, they were both gone. I have a unit out of the scene right now. So far, we found your MP3 player and your headphones. But what I'm hoping for is a call from our good Samaritan. Maybe he can help us with the ID. We're going to run that blood sample through our DNA database. And hopefully, we get a match on this punk. Will you remember anything else? I want you guys to call me, OK? You think you'll be able to catch him? Well, I can promise you that we're going to do our best. I'm sure he can't give you right home. No, I think we'll be all right. Thank you. Okay. You know where to find me. He was friendlier than usual. He's known us a long time. He's just concerned. <laughs> uh huh. You're deflecting, and it's not going to work. How are you feeling? Want to go to the hospital? I'm just going to go home, get some rest. Okay. Deadline. I'm only a couple chapters away from finishing. Come on, it'll be fun. It's okay. Kelly said she wants to meet for lunch. You sure? I'll be fine. Mrs. Becker. I heard about what happened. Is she here? She's resting at the moment. Oh, well, I just brought her these. I'll make sure she gets them. Lily, are you okay? It's okay, Mom. Hey, if you're not feeling well. It'll only be a minute. What are you even saying? I can't be worried about my girlfriend? I'm not your girlfriend anymore, Scott. So I'm just not supposed to care about you? I told you I'm fine. I know I screwed up. You screwed Bobby's sister. I was drunk. You were stupid. Look, Lily, this is our last summer together. In the fall, I'm going to go to Harvard and... You really like saying that, don't you? I don't want to leave things on a bad note. You already have. There must be something I can do. Actually, yeah. Don't talk to me. Lily! Fine. He just showed up at your house? It's not creepy or anything. He said he wanted to make sure I was okay and that he didn't end things on a bad note. Blah, blah, blah. I hope you told him what to go do with himself. 
I'll say this, he would never have risked his neck for me like that other guy did. I wonder why that guy didn't go to the police, though. I'm sure he had his reasons. I'm just glad he was there. I mean, think about it. I mean, the guy that attacked me could have had a knife or a gun. I mean, he would have had no idea. Yeah, yeah it's just that it was really convenient, don't you think? Him being all the way out there in the middle of nowhere at just the right time. I'm just going to consider myself lucky and leave it at that. Besides, he was really cute. <laughs> Finally, the truth comes out. And there's nothing wrong with that, right? I don't know. You tell me. Well, I'm never going to see him again anyway, so... But if you did? <laughs> <laughs> I would say thank you. That's all, huh? <laughs> It is our last summer before college. Our last chance to be reckless, irresponsible teenagers. And with my parents in Europe, that deserves a toast. <laughs> Water for me? Okay. Oh my gosh. What? I think that's him. The guy that attacked you? No, the guy that saved me. Thank you. Thanks. It's you, right? Uh, from the park yesterday? Um, I never got a chance to thank you. I just did what anyone would have done. I'm not so sure about that, actually. I'm Lily. Lily Becker. Mick Grant. It's nice to meet you. Officially. How are you? Hurt? No, actually. I got off pretty easy. Thanks to you. Yeah? Well, I did break my MP3 player, but it could have been a lot worse. Good. never seen you around. Do you live in the neighborhood? Staying down at the marina. Like on a boat? Friends of the family work there. They let me dock whenever I'm in town. How about you? Oh yeah, I just live up the hill there. Sanderson Drive. Nice houses up there. So is it really him? <laughs> this is my best friend Kelly. Hey, Mick. So Mick, how come you didn't go to the police? Kelly. I didn't want to get involved in some big investigation. I really didn't even get a good look at the guy. I just kind of scared him off. That's all. Well, you don't have to if you don't feel comfortable. But if you do decide you want to, Charles, the detective, he's a good friend of my mom's. He's not going to give you the third degree. He just wants to hear what you have to say. I'll think about it, OK? It was nice to meet you. Oh, wait, uh, if I wanted to get a hold of you? Here. Slip 12, into the marina. Anytime. Great. Thanks. Well, you're right. He's cute. Would I lie? Did you see his arms? I bet he's got a six pack. <laughs> you think he really lives on that boat? Well, that's what he said. A little odd, don't you think? I don't know. I think it's interesting. You owe me for lunch, by the way. Mom? In here. Wait, listen to this. Detective Petty had no idea that the slight suspect sitting in the interrogation room was actually the killer she'd spent months hunting. It's great, Mom. I found him. Who? The guy that saved me. Are you sure it was him? Yes. Kelly and I saw him at the coffee shop. Turns out he's staying on a boat in the marina. His name's Mick. So you talked to him? Mm-hmm. And did he say why he didn't go to the police? I sound like Kelly. Well, it's a fair question, don't you think? I just don't think he wants the attention. But I did ask him to talk to Charles. And? Well, he said he'd think about it. Huh. Mom, he didn't have to do anything. He could have just stayed out of it. Then what would have happened? I know. Besides, he says he didn't even see the guy. I mean, he just ran off. Yeah, but if there's any chance of catching him. 
I already said he said he would think about it. I can't make him do something he doesn't want to do. But he really did seem like a nice guy. You should answer that. Could be your editor. Okay. Hello? Hey, it's Charles. Hi, Charles. Any update on Lily's case? Well, we're still waiting for the DNA test to get back from the lab, but I thought you might want to know that the uh, gentleman that saved your daughter just came in. Oh. Yeah. Unfortunately, he didn't see much, but you never know. Every detail counts. Yeah, well, that's really nice to hear. Well, um, I'll call you as soon as I'm done here, okay? Okay, thank you so much, Charles. I really appreciate it. Okay, great. All right. What did he say? Well, it looks like your new friend is at the police station right now talking to him. <laughs> Good. I wish there was more I could tell you, Detective, but that's really all I know. Okay. Well, if you remember anything else, please contact me immediately, huh? Of course. You know, Mick, um, I would never advise a citizen to engage a violent offender, but off the record, I am friends with the family, so I commend you for your bravery. Thanks. I appreciate that. Had you not shown up, there's no telling what the psycho might have done. That's it, then? That's it. Oh, but I do have to have you fingerprinted. It's just a standard procedure. Anyone who's involved in an active case, we have to do it. Sure. Anything else, no matter how insignificant. You got it. Hey, um, you really think they'll be able to catch this guy? Well, it's certainly going to do our best. scared me to death. I need your help. Too bad. Kelly, please. You're in my way. Look, you know Lily better than anyone. I know that she doesn't want anything to do with you. What were you thinking? Showing up at her house like that? What was I supposed to do? She wasn't answering any of my calls. You really want my advice? Leave her alone. Who is he, Kelly? Who? The guy at the cafe. I saw you two talking to him. Wow, graduated a stalker already. Is Lily seeing him? You want to know who he is? Okay, fine. His name's Mick Grant. He's the guy who saved Lily's life yesterday. You know, the guy that was there when she needed him? Not the one off sleeping with the first girl who'd say yes? So she is seeing him. What if she is? Well, who is he then? I know he's not from around here. Does anyone know anything about him? I know he's twice the man you are. I'm just worried about Lily. <sighs> She'll be fine. You sure? Stop calling her. Ray Peterson Investigations. Ray. Speaking. Scott Ellison. Scott! How you been? How's your dad? Actually, he's pretty busy trying to close up this new deal. He asked me to give you a call. Anything for your dad, how can I help? He'd like some background information on one of the parties. Mick. Grant. Got it. I'm on it. Tell your dad not to worry about a thing. Thanks.
turn to run again this morning. I barely made it home. You didn't expect things would get better overnight, did you? I just thought if I got back on the horse, you know. Maybe you should see someone. You mean like a shrink? I mean like someone to talk to. I just need time. You don't need to push yourself. I just hate being afraid. Oh, one sec. That was Scott. It's the fifth time he's texted today. If he loves you so badly, he shouldn't have cheated on you. Hold on. I thought I saw something. Like what? I guess it was nothing. Don't scare me. I'm fine. Everything's okay. Somebody's here. I'll call you back. Nick? I was in the neighborhood. I hope you don't mind. How did you know where I live? Google. It's Anderson Drive, remember? Well, who is this? Oh, this is Mick, the guy I was telling you about. And this is my mom, Jennifer. Mick. Please, come in. Thank you. I uh, brought you something. You mentioned you broke your old one, so I thought you might like a new one. Wow, thank you. And I would like to thank you personally for what you did for my daughter. You're welcome. Hey, can we get a picture? Oh, that's really... I'd really rather not. Well, it's just a picture. I know, but I'm a little uncomfortable. Being a hero is not really my thing. Can you stay for dinner? Of course. No, no, really. I, it's not necessary. I'll just pick something up on the way home. Mom, please? It is the least I can do for the man that saved my daughter's life. What do you say, Mick? I'd be honored. Hello. Scott? Ray Peterson. Ray, I didn't expect to hear from you so soon. Well, I aimed to please. What'd you find out? Well, I have to admit, I have never seen anything quite like this. Here we go. Thank you. So, Mick, Lily tells me that you have a yacht in the marina. It's not exactly a yacht, but... That's where you live, right? For now. It's kind of cool if you think about it. If I ever get tired of the view, I just move to a new one. Free spirit marches to the beat of his own drum. I would love that. I mean, getting to go wherever I want, whenever I want. Well, thank God you came along when you did. Well, that's what the detective was saying. Sounds like he's pretty close to you guys. Yeah. Well, he helped me with research a while back from a law enforcement perspective, and we've been friends ever since. Maybe more. Lily. <laughs> no, but really, he's been very helpful, you know, since we've been on our own. So, Mick, what about you? Where are you from originally? East Coast. Uh, New Hampshire, Rhode Island. My dad was in the Navy, so always being reassigned somewhere. Is he still serving? No, um, my mom and dad passed away a couple of years ago. Oh, I'm, I'm so sorry. It's okay, you didn't know. But I, I guess I inherited my love of the ocean from him. Um, so I'm just curious, with your sailing from place to place and traveling, how do you make a living? Mom! Just curious. Well, can he not enjoy a nice dinner without an interrogation? I mean, he did save me, remember? You can't blame me for being curious. I'm a mother, that's what we do. It's okay, Lily. Um, actually, when my parents passed away, they left me a fair amount of money. Recently, I've been trying my hand at writing. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Short stories, mostly. Poems, you know. Well, my mom's a writer. Really? 
What kind? A uh, true crime, mostly. Wow. I think it's kind of morbid, but okay. No, I think it's a fascinating subject. I mean, having to explore your stories, looking over all the evidence. I gotta ask, as you know, someone just starting out, what's your secret? You really want to know? Yes. An old Regal typewriter. You're kidding. No. Yeah. My father bought me one at a garage sale when I was in high school, and everything I've ever done has been written on it. It's true. Well, you're not afraid? I mean, there's no hard drive, no backups. Hemingway wrote with a pencil. She does use a scanner, so... Yes, so I am not a complete Luddite. <laughs> well, that's awesome. You're very lucky, you know. Not many people get to make a living doing what they love. Sorry about Sherlock Holmes in there. I guess that's the hazard of having a true crime writer as your mom. Elementary, my dear Lily. <laughs> You're really great with her in there. I mean, she's hated everybody else I've brought home, so... Everyone, huh? Well, I mean, not like I've had a lot of them. Right, of course. Hey, have lunch with me tomorrow. Really? Yeah, you can show me around town. I'll show you my boat. What do you say? 12 o'clock? You know where to find me. He seems like a nice boy. And I think he likes you. Come on. Hey. Permission to come aboard? Hell yes. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, here for you. <laughs> You're always saving me. So, gonna give me the tour? <gasps> You got 30 seconds? <laughs> <laughs> well, this is the deck. Uh, that's the bridge up there. And if you'll kindly follow me, I'll show you the spacious living quarters. <laughs> okay. Voila. It may not look like much, but it's enough. Are those? All the places I've been so far. Yeah. You're lucky, you know. Been getting to travel anywhere you want. Wherever the current takes you. No one telling you what to do or how to do it. Okay there, Kerouac. <laughs> oh, but it, it does get a little lonely, though, you know? I mean, you got your mom. I've got a boat. Well, your boat doesn't interrogate guys who come over for dinner. You'd be surprised. <laughs> I mean, maybe if it wasn't just the two of us, her and me. But after the divorce, she... Just got overly cautious. Is this your writing? It's, um, work in progress. But talking to your mom really inspired me. You gonna read some of her books? Well, according to Amazon, I'm supposed to start with The Double Murder of Crown Hill. <laughs> yep, that's her big bestseller. You know, we lived in Seattle for over a year while she wrote it. Really? It was a big case up there. I mean, the guy supposedly killed his business partner and his girlfriend. Some kind of embezzlement deal. Wow. Yeah. You know, she actually helped them catch the guy, right? Seriously? It was just a cold case when she found it. But uh, while she was doing her research, she uncovered some evidence that the homicide detective missed. So that convinced the Seattle PD to reopen the whole investigation. Wow. You must be proud. Yeah. I just wish it wasn't all so... Morbid? Right. So, uh, lunch. Right, lunch. Can I 
ask you a question? Shoot. What were you doing in the woods the day I was attacked? Sometimes when I have writer's block, I like to walk. It clears my head. You know, I can't help thinking, though. Maybe it was fate. Yeah? I mean, like your mom said, if I hadn't been there. I thought you were Mr., you know, seat of your pants, follow the moment. Stick around. You may be surprised. I already am. Um. Too soon, huh? Maybe. You just let me know when you're ready. Sure. Let's go. Nick. Yeah? I'm ready now. Scott, but Lily is not here right now. Actually, I'm not here to see her. I had a friend of my dad's run a background check on Mick Grant. Do you have any idea how many boundaries you are violating right now? Oh, please, don't tell me you're not just a little bit curious. Okay, I'm sure somebody with your family connections isn't used to hearing the word no too often. You and I both want the same thing here, for Lily to be safe. Fine. What did you find out? He didn't go to school. He's never had a job. He's never even gotten a parking ticket. So he's clean. More like he doesn't exist. Okay, I'm still not sure how any of this is your business. Aren't you just a little bit concerned that we don't know anything about this guy? Nothing. I appreciate your concern, and I will take that into consideration. Come on. You and I both know I'm better for Lily than he is. You know what I know? What a broken heart looks like. And not even your family connections can fix what you did to her. She's making a mistake. Goodbye, Scott. Fine. What happened? A couple of kids took a walk through the park and found our friend lying down over here. Mm -hmm. I don't recognize him. Eric Grissom. Came in from the valley. You know the homeless population rises 10% around here during the summer months? Whoa, top shelf. I can't even afford to drink this. Think he drank himself to death? Maybe. I hate seeing this. The guy probably lost his job, got thrown out on the streets, and ends up like this. It's a world coming to. He's so sensitive. I haven't had my coffee yet. Any sign of foul play? Nothing so far. Hi, Mom. Scott came by today. Well, let me guess. He hasn't heard back from me, so he's worried about me, something like that. He ran a background check on Mick. Wow. Jealous much? Well, he's got a point. I mean, how much should we really know about this guy? Well, I know he's not a spoiled rich kid who throws a tantrum just because somebody has the audacity to tell him no. 
It's a legitimate question, Lily. Here's a thought. How about we stop focusing on the guy who saved me and start looking into the guy who attacked me? Look, I'm on your side here, but you need to make sure that you're not starting something for the wrong reasons. Well, I didn't realize saving my life was the wrong reason. Just take a look. You've got to admit, it's pretty bare. He lives on a boat. He's off the grid, so what? Just because somebody lives their life differently than you does not make them a bad person. Oh, for God's sakes, Lily. Okay, Mom, I'm sorry Dad left you for somebody half your age, but if you're looking to fix somebody, look in the mirror. I don't need your help. But I swear, it's like I finally find a guy and everybody's out to get him. I wouldn't say that. What would you call it? Your mom's just looking out for you, Lil. And Scott? I mean, she's actually going to take him seriously? She does have a point, though. Who lives their lives in complete secrecy like that? So he's different. That's what I like about him. And you don't think he's hiding something? Hiding what? I mean, he was a nice guy. He gave me a tour of his boat, and, and we went out to lunch. He was a perfect gentleman. You kissed him, didn't you? Okay, what does that have to do with anything? You did! <sighs> Fine. Maybe a little. Look, I'm not gonna tell you to stay away from him, but if you're gonna start getting serious... Promise me you'll be careful? I promise. I will. Bye. Jeez, you scared me. Where are you up to so early? On coffee with Kelly. Kelly, huh? Yes, Kelly. Look, I know you're mad at me, but you do realize that I'm just trying to look out for you, right? You don't believe me. Do you want to come? No. Can we have a hug? Mm, that's better. <laughs> when you see Kelly, tell her I say hi, okay? Well... Lily. Hi. I want to know what gives you the right to do something like this. Look, clearly you're upset. I told you we were through. <laughs> Let go of me! Look, you gotta understand. I'm just looking out for you. By showing up to my house and talking about me behind my back to my mom? You're not answering my texts? You're not taking my calls? What am I supposed to do? I'm supposed to take a hint. I'm not just going to sit back and let you ruin your life. Then no dating you to find my life. The guy lives in a boat, Lily. What kind of a future do you really think you can have with someone like that? Because he knows how to treat a woman. I never said I was perfect. But I can do a hell of a lot better than Mick Grant. Why do you always make me feel like a trophy in some testosterone-driven competition? I know I messed up, okay? I was stupid. I get it. Let me make it up to you. Why don't we go down to my family's place in Cabo for the weekend? Just you and me. You're really something, aren't you? You know, one day you're gonna regret how you treated me. Hey. Nick? Why don't you leave Lily alone, okay? Oh, yeah? What happens if I say no, huh? You gonna make me? 
Scott! Look, buddy, I just came here to talk. Oh, just to talk. A little out of your league, don't you think? I think Lily made her feelings towards you quite clear. Oh, and she's chosen you. Is that it? You should respect her decisions. Maybe I'm not going to let her make the biggest mistake of her life. Then go back to your friends. <laughs> You're funny. He's funny. Scott! Why don't you get back in your boat and get out of town? I told you, leave her alone! Guys! <laughs> Stop it! Oh, Lily, I'm so sorry. It, it was an accident. It, Lily! Are you okay? Yeah. You're shaking. I think... I think I just need to go lay down. Let me give you a ride. I just want to be alone. Come on, let's at least get that looked at. I'll be fine. Really. Call you later, okay? Yeah, sure. an accident? I think so. Ow. Look, either you let me do this or you let your mom do it. Okay, fine. What about Mick? What about Mick? He get hurt? He fight back? What? Well, Scott was just kind of throwing punches and Mick just kind of knocked the crap out of him. So he started it? Well, Scott threw the first punch. But Mick escalated it. I guess. Lily. I know. I know you like this guy. And I've already told you to be careful. I gotta go. It's gonna swell up. You should keep ice on it. Okay. Thank you for your help. Take care, okay? I will. Lily, some flowers came for you. Lily? Got it, I'll be in my room, Mom. What are you doing here? I heard about what happened at the country club. It was an accident. It's not what it looks like to me. You don't believe me, ask anyone who was there. I'd never hurt Lily and you know that. I love her. You sure have a funny way of showing it. You know what? It doesn't matter. I wanted to talk to you about Mick. You really think he could be dangerous? <laughs> the guy shows up out of nowhere. No past, no history, and he just so happens to be in the woods when Lily is attacked? You tell me. Is there anything we know about him for sure? So we don't know about him, that's the problem. He's hiding something and I know it. But Lily won't listen to me, and neither will her mother. Can you blame them? You know, someone's gonna get hurt here. I just hope it's not Lily. Scott, wait. You wanna help her, get her away from him. He's trouble. Good luck.
Hello? I told you it's coming. Yeah, I just finished. It's in the scanner now. <laughs> you relax. It's going to be good. All right, and we'll check in about tomorrow. Okay? Get this over to Cyber Forensics immediately. You tell them to get it unlocked. Yes, sir. Mom, how are you doing? I'm fine. And how are you? I'm okay. I didn't get a really good look at anything. I see your face. It's nothing. It's not nothing. What happened? I said it's nothing. Did somebody do that to you? No, of course not. I just... I fell in a parking lot. It's, it's no big deal. Was it Mick? No, Mom, it wasn't Mick. Then why don't you tell me what happened? Because I don't want to talk about it. Lil, if somebody hit you, it is very important that you tell me who it was. Who hit you? Scott Ellison. But he didn't mean to. It was just an accident. The paramedics are here. Send our guy out here to upgrade your alarm system. What do you got for us, CJ? I was able to break the code and get into the phone. Able to identify the owner? Scott Ellison. But that's not all. Whoa, whoa. What am I looking at here? Hey, according to that date and time stamp, these were taken just before Lily was attacked. watching her. The son of a bitch is going down. I have no idea what they're talking about. I didn't go anywhere near their house. Don't say anything. I was down at the country club all night. I'm sure they've got cameras. You better have a damn good reason embarrassing my client like this. How about evidence on his cell phone linking them to two separate attacks? I don't even know where my phone is. I lost it somewhere earlier today. Oh, yeah, isn't that convenient? You should know I already have calls into the sheriff and the mayor. Ah, well, send him my best. Here you go. Thank you, sweetheart. You really don't have to do all of this. It's fine, I want to. Strawberry or marmalade? Strawberry. Thanks, Mom. You got it, kiddo. Morning, Lily. Morning. Is your mother up? She's in the kitchen. She's not decent. I just made some breakfast. Do you want some coffee? No, no thanks. Uh, I just came to share some information with you. Decent, huh? Well, you could have called. Well, you know, I've never been much for etiquette. But seriously, I just wanted to come by and check on the two of you in person. 
Make sure you're okay. And uh, I have a little news. Yeah? Yeah. The phone that fell out of your attacker's pocket last night, Cyber Forensics was able to open it up. Turns out it belongs to a um, Scott Ellison. pictures on it I think you find interesting. Oh my god. In the trunk of his car we found a mask and a hoodie matching your description. Waiting for the DNA test to come back but uh, pretty sure we're gonna have a match. It was Scott? Looks like it. I knew the guy had some issues, but nothing like this. You should have seen him yesterday. He was like an animal. I mean, it was like he was possessed or something. But still, attacking you? Trying to kill your mom? It's a little over the top, don't you think? I have pictures on his phone. He's been stalking us for a while. Just waiting for the right opportunity, I guess. But why your mom? It doesn't make any sense. She was pretty harsh with him the other day when he brought her that file on Mick. <laughs> Lily, just think about it for a minute. You've known Scott since sixth grade. Does this sound like something you would do? They say you can never really know about people, though. I mean, think about all the people on the news who find out that their nice, quiet neighbor is a serial killer. Like Mick? Kelly. I'm just saying. Mick is nothing like Scott. For your sake, I hope you're right. There's something about him. Something comforting. Well, you've been through a lot this week. Promise me you won't rush into anything. You sound like my mom. I hope she's okay. The doctor said she'd be fine, right? Yeah. I mean, I just keep thinking if I hadn't been there, but you were. Tell you what, why don't we go shopping? Get your mind off all this for a couple hours. Can I get a rain check? I have to go. Where are you going? I, uh, I want to check on mom. I thought you said Charles was staying with her. Yeah, but I, I want to make sure she's okay. Okay. Call me if you need anything. I will. Love you. Love you too. Scott broke into your house? I just can see you're lying there like that. How could somebody do something like that? But they... They really think it was him? We're still waiting on DNA. Fibers and that kind of stuff. But looks like it. Wow. I mean, I, I could tell the guy had a few issues, but... I just keep thinking back. I mean, to think he could do such horrible things. I mean, I knew he was possessive, but... <laughs> hey, it's gonna be okay. I mean, at least he's where he belongs now, right? your mom how's she doing she's better she's at home charles is gonna stay there for a little while good these past 24 hours have been so crazy i just feel like i need a break you know why don't you stay here for a bit hmm? i mean like you said it's all been so crazy wouldn't it be nice to just Get away for a few hours.
the harbor master's office? Hi, I was wondering what I need to do to check on the registration of a boat in your harbor. It's slip 12. What are you doing? Taking a selfie. Here. Say cheese. Really? I'd rather just enjoy the moment while we're in it. Sure. battery backup in case you lose power. Great. Thank you so much. Hey. Huh? You look like you're feeling better. I am. What happened at four? It's only five. Yeah, that's an hour later than we agreed. I'm sorry. Thank you so much. No problem. Call if there's any issues. I will. I appreciate it. So where were you? I was out. Out. Fine. I was with Mick on his boat. Happy? Mixed boat? Yeah, it was no big deal. We were just hanging out for a little while. No big deal. Lily, you barely know this guy. Mom, I'm 18. Yes, and after everything that's happened, I just thought... Thought what? I thought that you would exercise better judgment. I am only trying to look out for you. By telling me who I can and can't hang out with? If you are incapable of making smart and rational decisions, then yes. Okay, I'm leaving in a couple of months. Are you going to follow me to school and make sure every decision I make is up to your standards? Lily? Just stop! She just doesn't get it. You don't think you might be rushing into this too quickly, do you? Especially after the last couple of weeks? I'm not rushing into anything. You still don't know a lot about the guy. I know how I feel. Yeah, but that background report, it was a little iffy, right? And he doesn't like it when you take his picture? What's up with that? So he's a little camera shy. That doesn't make him a bad guy. No, but it is really weird. Okay, you remember that date with Andrew that you had to sneak out for? Who covered for you? This is not the same thing. Nobody liked him but me. I was the only one who stood up for you. He was Debbie C's brother. This is a complete stranger. <sighs> hey, you're my best friend. I'm entitled to be worried about you. Okay. I'm gonna go to bed. I'll call you tomorrow. You bet. <sighs> okay, Lily. You owe me one.
Michael Granger. Oh my God. He's the son. Come on, Kelly, answer. Kelly? Hello? Kelly, are you there? He stepped away for a couple minutes at about 8.15, but that's it. So there's no way he was the one that attacked Jennifer? Got the results back on the DNA test from Lily's attack. We have a match? Yes, but not to Scott Ellison. What do you mean? That match is an aggravated assault arrest two years ago up in Moore Park. Suspect was a vagrant, Eric Grissom. Wait, the homeless guy that we found in the park? We still have his possessions in impound? Yes. We need to check that bottle that he had for fingerprints. What, that top shelf tequila? That's right. You think someone hired him to attack Lily? I think something doesn't make sense. We printed Mick Grant when he came in, run his prints against that bottle. I'm all right. Cyber forensics? Yes, he's here. Lily Becker's here to see you. She says it's urgent. I mean, it was like she couldn't breathe. And you haven't heard or seen anything since? Do you think something could have happened to her? Do you know where her parents are? In Europe. I think they get back in a few days, but I'm not sure exactly when. Any way of contacting them? No. Why? What are you thinking? Lily, we have evidence clearing Scott. And we think that your friend Mick may have tried to have him set up. <sighs> Do you think he did something to Kelly? No, we're not going to jump to any conclusions, but what I want you to do is write down Kelly's number on the tracker cell phone. It's him. Lily, don't put... Where is she? Where's who, Lily? I swear if you've done anything to hurt her. What are you talking about? Kelly! Mick, this is Detective Jenkins. Where are you? We know everything, Mick. Things go a lot easier for you if you turn yourself in peacefully. Mick. Where's your mother? She's at home. She's still recovering. Officer Collins? Yes, sir. Collins. Yeah. This is Officer Collins. I'm going to have him drive you home to keep an eye on you and your mother, okay? I'm not going home. I have to find Kelly. I need you to do exactly what I tell you to do. He's going to keep you both safe. Don't worry. I can stay outside all night long in my car. That's what it takes. What about you? I'm going to do my best to find your friend. Charles, got the results on the fingerprints from Grissom's bottle. You were right. They matched the ones we took from Grant. All right. I want you to run his mugshot. We did a background check. Nothing came up. Exactly. I want you to run his photo to see if it matches any other names in the database. And when you're at it, ping the cell phone number, okay? You got it. 
promise you I'm gonna do my best to find Kelly. But right now, my main concern is keeping you and your mother safe. All right? Let me know when you get there. Yes, sir. It's okay, Lily. Come on. Yeah, they let me go. Well, they had no choice. I told you those charges were complete BS. Yeah, I just got home. I'm dying to get out of these clothes. But hey, let's meet up later and go out. I've got some serious celebrating to do. Okay, see ya. <laughs> oh, this will be good. I need an APB on a Mick Grant. 20 year old Caucasian male, brown hair, hazel eyes, 5'10, approximately 150 pounds. To be approached with extreme caution. Mick Grant! Police! Police! Mick! Don't do anything stupid. Mick, come out slowly. Not gonna tell you again, son. All right? What do you got for me? Something good, I hope? Ray? Hey. Oh my god. Yeah, you had to get nosy, didn't you? What? I, I, no, I don't know. Oh, you must think I'm really stupid. Look, whatever's happening here, I, I won't tell anyone. I don't know what Lily ever saw in you. Did you do something to her? To Lily? No, I would never hurt her. I love her. And she loves me. But you didn't know when to stop. You had to keep fighting. Even though you must have known in your heart. You didn't have a chance. Look at I'm sure we can work something out here. Mm. Trying to make a deal, huh? Just like your dad? I mean, there's always a bargain to be struck, right? What do you want? It's too late. You'll never get away with this. Oh, see, Scott, here's the thing about that. When the cops come and find you and your private detective here dead in a murder-suicide, they're going to start investigating. You know what they're going to find? They're going to look on our friend here's computer and see that you paid him to doctor some evidence, fudge some DNA results, to frame me. I'll never believe that. Only one way to find out. We 
she be out there looking for Kelly? Not until Charles says it's safe. Are we okay to stay here? Yes, as long as we have that officer watching the house, we're okay. I can't wait here anymore. Hey, stop. I am not letting you leave. Mom, please just listen to me for once. It's not safe. Charles said to stay here, and that's exactly what we're going to do. Lily, let me in, please. I promise I'll explain everything. All you have to do is open the door. Go away! Mrs. Becker, please. Go away! Where's Officer Collins? I have to check. Did you see him? Oh, my God. Go to your room. Mom, what did you see? Lock the door. Just do what I say. You've dialed 911. Your call will be answered by the next available operator. Oh. Oh. It's me. Listen to me. Every door is locked, but 911 is busy. So I'm gonna try the house phone. I will be right back, okay? And I'm right outside this door. Kelly, where have you been? I've been so worried about you. Whatever they told you about me is a lie. Lily, I know you're listening to me. What do you want? We had plans, remember? We were going to go away together. I was going to take you away from all this. Just let me in. Where's Kelly? Lily. Where is she? Just let me in and I'll tell you. Come on, I wouldn't hurt you. You love me. Don't you? Did you kill her? Answer the question, Lily. Do you love me? No. Where's Kelly? Mick? Mick? Not your fault. Maybe Charles. Okay. Jennifer, it's me. The lights went out and the cop outside is dead. I know, I know, I saw. Don't worry, I'm here now. There's no way this bunk can hurt you. Backup's gonna be here any minute. Any news on Kelly? I'm sorry, Lil. I found her on Mick's boat. She's dead. There's nothing we can do about it now. You've checked every window, every door is locked. Yeah, let me see. Okay. I'm gonna check it out. Set the alarm after me.
to you? What is taking him so long? It's my fault. No, it's not. I told him I didn't love him. Listen to me. We are going to get through this, okay? I should have lied. Maybe he would have left. It's going to be okay. You just stay here. Charles told us both to stay here. I just need to check. My father away from me, so now I have to take you away from her. Your father would have been talking about Oh, come about on, Lily. You know all about it. My father? The Crown Hill Killer? Everybody forgotten about him. Forgotten about him until your mother wrote her book. Your father killed all those people. My father was a good man! He just had a moment. One little moment in 55 perfect years. <laughs> you know they finally executed him last year? It took him 10 minutes to die. You believe that? 10 minutes he lied there on the table, convulsing, shaking. I didn't know. He tried to tell the execution what had happened, except he bit off his own tongue. That is what your mother did to us. She ruined his life. Our life. This was all about revenge. I knew the only way to make her realize what she'd done was to hurt her the way that she'd hurt us. So I crafted a new identity for myself. And I spent a lot of time watching you. I knew exactly what to do to get your attention. Run! The bitch bit me. Yeah, occupational hazard. 
Give me back my sweater. The body they found in the park. They had DNA from the scene. I couldn't take any chances. And then I found the perfect person to take the fall. All I had to do next was add a few incriminating photos, plan a little evidence. No one would ever know. Except for Kelly. I couldn't let anything get in the way of my plan. I owed my father that. And my mom? Oh, I was never going to kill her. No, no, where's the satisfaction in that? I'm making her believe your ex-boyfriend tried to. That's something else entirely. She has to pay for what she did to my family. Lily! 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 Lily, honey. I'll let you decide. Did we make it quick? No! Lily! Bye. No! <laughs> Everything from me. Well, I wanted to show you something. My publisher is offered in the high six figures for the rights. So we are off to New York in the morning. We? Well, he's never been, and since my publisher's paying for it, figured I might as well show him around. Well, thank you, ma'am. <laughs> Aw, that's awesome. Congratulations. And there's more news. When they announce my book next week, I'm going to make a statement saying that this is my last true crime novel. Mom? Yeah, you're right. It's morbid. Time to try something else. Yeah, like romance novels. <laughs> All right. Hey, sure you're okay with this? Yeah. I mean, as long as I get to pick who plays me in the movie. <laughs> I love you. Love you too, Mom. Mm -hmm. 